Many people are familiar with what has been called the three-legged stool for retirement income. Social Security, personal savings, and an employee pension. But as the song goes, the times they are a changing, and that's also true for your retirement income. Here to discuss these changes is my never changing law partner, Michael Solomon. Hi, Lori. Welcome back. So let's first talk about this endangered species, this one leg on this three leg stool, which is retirement pension. Right. It's sometimes called the defined benefit plan. It's a pension plan that gives you a monthly payment when you retire for the rest of your life, or sometimes. If you're married, you might have it pay out over the life, your life and the life, life of your spouse. And it's a fixed payment, maybe adjusted for inflation. And it's guaranteed by three things. The employer guarantees it to an extent. The pension plan itself has the money. And then if that fails, then there's the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. It's a government corporation. Insures your pension up to 60000 approximately 60000 a year. Okay. But over the years, pension plans have been replaced by 401k plans, right? Right. As a matter of fact, the number of pension plans since 1997, the number of defined benefit pension plans has dropped in half. Mm. Been replaced mostly by 401k plans. And what's happened recently is many retirees who had this guaranteed payment have been walking away from it and taking a lump sum payment from their for pension plan and rather than taking those monthly payments for the rest of their lives. Okay. So um, and why would companies kind of change what they're doing in this manner? Well, it's a financial risk. The company and the pension plan are, are subject to the risk of the stock market. If you have a defined benefit plan, the market falls, you still get your monthly payment. Mm -hmm. The companies, though, are at risk because if it falls, they've got to put more money in the plan. So they want to shift the risk to the employees. So they give you the lump sum amount based on your life expectancy and, and, the rate, and assumed rates of return and then you're at risk for the stock market. So they've shifted the risk to the, the retiree. So you have to be smart on your own to figure out what you're doing about this. So what happens when you're making these investments and the investments don't pan out the way you expected? And maybe the interest rate isn't as, as you know, favorable as you thought. Well, you're, you're basically out of luck. I mean, if you, if you uh, get the money and you spend it too fast, it's gone. It's, it's, uh, you've given up that monthly payment. And the IRS has changed the rules recently since last July now. They, what they've said is if you're a retiree in a defined benefit plan, you can't have that option anymore. They won't let you take a lump sum out. They want the, the guarantee kept in place. Okay. So um, what if you, though, have an IRA and you're worried about living too long? Is well, there something to do with an IRA? There is. I mean, first of all, you, you do wise investing and, and sit down with a planner and make sure you don't spend your money too fast. And they can do all sorts of different scenarios, uh, computer-generated uh, scenarios. But one thing the IRS did recently is they allow you to take your IRA and invest a portion of it, not all of it, in what's called a longevity annuity. Hmm. And what that is is the IRA buys an annuity, let's say, doesn't start payment until age 85. In the meantime, that amount you took to buy that annuity is ignored for purposes of calculating you know, that oh. minimum distribution that people have to start taking out. Right. They ignore that, so it's a smaller amount you have to take out. And then by the time you hit age 85, for example, now the annuity kicks in and you have more payments. So it's a way to force or help people Shift stretch out the, the payments. Later on. Oh, right. That's good information. It's hard to predict the future, and that includes how your investments will perform and how long you're going to live. So whether you have a pension benefit, 401k, or IRA, you should meet with a qualified financial advisor to make sure you use your retirement money wisely. Your future depends upon it. We'll be right back. Call Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization or log on to www.ssmplaw.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Sunday at 1130, right back here on Channel 3. But until then, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. If you'd like to join our kitchen conversation, visit our website, www.goldenopportunities.tv. Like us on Facebook. Call us at 440-742-GO-TV or email us at kitchen at goldenopportunities.tv. We'd love to hear from you.
Golden Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions.